safety first. Well, I just wanted to make this video to go over the last couple of weeks of what's been going on with me. For those that are interested, if you've watched the shorts section of my YouTube channel, you will know that I took a trip to Arizona, the greater Phoenix area. I traveled everywhere from Queen Creek all the way up to Sedona. Camp Verde, Gilbert, Mesa, Chandler, Apache Junction, Paradise Valley, North Scottsdale, Glendale, all points in between. I went through and uh, was basically around. I also published a video of my first day there offering making an offer to colon russell hyphen j colon gould who i mean as far as i know and through sources that i have he was or is located around that area around uh i don't know phoenix tucson prescott payson this type of area you know Let's put it this way. He was within at least a two to three hour drive of Phoenix, of where I was. I published a video offering him a free workshop if he wanted to get closure. If he was interested in getting closure on correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, I would drive out to wherever he is and gift him the workshop. I would bring it to him. That was my offer. And all he had to do was email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Now, folks, based upon my past experience with the man, based upon my past email communications with the man back in 2017, 2018, and 2019, quite honestly, I did not expect much. My expectations were extremely low. Zero to none. Because although the man goes around and talks about how humble he is, how kind he is, how, how he's just learning just like the rest of us, I don't think he really believes that, folks. I don't think he really thinks that. I really don't. Based upon his actions and the way he treats people and the way he speaks to people. So I certainly did not expect him to email me and say, Yes, Jason, come on out here. I mean, if speculation, you know, just using speculation, if he was truly humble and truly open to learning, if he truly thought that he was still learning and that there are other folks out there that could teach him, then yes, he, he would have emailed me because I like to put myself in other people's shoes and then think about how I would behave in similar situations. I guess you got to take for granted a couple things. First of all, if Russell actually is humble, if he actually is kind, if he actually is open-minded and open to learning, and he really does think all those things about himself, if that were me, of course I would email I would send an email. I would. I'd say, yeah, sure, I'll take you up on your offer for the free workshop. Now, would I allow the person to give it to me for free? Of course I wouldn't. I would offer them something in return, rule one, rule equal. Uh, but some folks, you know, they just like free stuff, which is cool because when I offered the workshop, I wasn't expecting anything in return. I really wasn't. So in any case, if I'm Russell, then I'm thinking, well, hey, it's an opportunity. This is a guy. You know, meaning Jason Matthew, Colin Jason Knife and Matthew Colin Glass. This is a guy who has a YouTube channel. He has a, a very small subscriber base, but it's a very strong subscriber base. And the videos do get a lot of views in the context of correct sentence structure. And there are some pretty serious grammar folks that watch this Jason's channel. It might behoove me to 
talk to this guy. Really see what he's about. See what's going on. Rather than slander him, badmouth him, insult him in the public in videos or make offhanded remarks or slander him outright in private settings, calling him a piece of shit and all this and that and the third. Instead of doing all that, why don't we meet him face to face and f see what's going on? <clears throat> but no, a guy like Russell is not going to do that. I don't know. I don't know him. See, I don't know him, but I know the way he behaves from prior experience, again, of his communications with me. And also, I've been privy to confidential video communications where he's spoken to other folks from other countries and they've let, shared that with me. <clears throat> the way he treats people, it's whatever Russell was before David Wynn Miller passed away, maybe David Wynn Miller kept Russell in check. I don't know. But he certainly changed. Like, maybe you could say it in the worst parts of his personality were allowed to flourish then because David was no longer there to, to uh, I guess, provide the, the filter for him to help guide him. The guidance was no longer there, so then Russell just went off the chain. Again, this is speculation, folks. This is all speculation. I'm speculating on a theoretical event that never happened. The thing that really actually happened was me going to Arizona and staying there for a week and really enjoying the hell out of the desert. I love the desert, even though it was 115 degrees or so. Love it, man. The desert is my favorite place in the world to be. That desert, Arizona desert, that weather, that landscape. And the people are super friendly down there. The best authentic Mexican food. Oh my goodness. So good. So good. I mean, Detroit has a Mexican town, but it is nothing in comparison to the real deal, which is down there. Which, you know, I mean... Essentially, Arizona is Mexico, right? Just like Texas, New Mexico, you know, those places. They once were Mexico. So, that, that's the, those are the facts of the situation that I did. I was in Arizona. I was around the Phoenix area. And I was within driving distance of Russell J. Gould's location, to the best of my knowledge. I also published several update videos throughout the week at least three I think where I reiterated my offer said you know I'm still here Russell you can still email me the offer still stands go ahead it's on the table for you balls in your court blah 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 but of course no answer not even a peep and there is no way, there is no way that his people, let alone him, were not aware that I made these videos and that I made this offer. There is no way that they didn't hear about it. Based upon the number of views that those videos got, I know... <clears throat> Let's put it this way. From my experience, I know that if Russell or Mark Lowercase K or whoever else out there makes a video where they mention me, I know that we have common viewers. And some of those common viewers will email me and say, Jason, and they'll post a link to the video and say, you got to check this out, Jason. Look, Russell talks about you here or Mark talks about you here or whatever they let me know if someone's talking about me not that I really care but they let me know you see what I'm saying and he Russell has a lot more viewers and subscribers than I do I'm just a peon compared to his YouTube channels his social media so there's no doubt in my mind that it was brought to his attention there is absolutely positively no doubt now he can come out and say, you know, well, just what I just said, you know, well, Jason's a peon. Why? I don't even think about him. I, I should char start char charging Jason rent 
for as much as I live in his head or some goofy like that, right? <laughs> Which, I mean, fair play, fair play, whatever. I don't really care what he thinks as far as that stuff goes. My point is, I made the offer with correct volition. With the balance of the honor and the grace, the position of peace, neutrality, and the maintenance of rule one, rule equal. I offered Cole and Russell Hyphen J. Cole and Gould the gift of a one hour in person workshop. I offered to drive to his location and perform on that contract, that offer of a contract. And he never gave any coolie on it. He never answered me. He never responded. Never heard a peep out of him or anybody else. So, we know what that means, right? If you know anything about contract, you know what that means. So there you have it. And now I'm back in Michigan, back to the land of overcast skies, rain, and humidity with heat and mosquitoes. Ugh. Much prefer Arizona. So that's that. To all you folks out there that um, are waiting on workshops, I will get those to you as soon as I'm, I'm in position to do so. Again, there's been other things going on that I've had to take care of. Arizona was part of it. Uh, there's more to come. And I will definitely try to fit you in whenever I can so that I can give you the full 100% value of the workshop because if there's two things two certainties in the domain of correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar there's plenty of now space continuum time to get the closure you need period end of story I'm out <laughs>